word. Or else held out a pencil and a sheet of paper. She'll take one out for you too if you want to write to your people. Alice took the pencil and paper and looked down at them. visual artists who've been commissioned by the Women's Library to work on the 20th anniversary project. Um, I'm not going to explain just yet what knife I'm wearing or why, and hopefully this will become clear over the course of the next 15 minutes as I try to explain to you how I've gone about approaching working with this fantastic resource that we have here, um, and thinking about some of the other things that are, have been preoccupying me over the last six weeks and to let you a little insight, and for Helen and Laura, you don't even know yet what on earth my project is going to be, but I think I worked it out yesterday, so I'll explain it <laughs> towards the end. So, it's a great honour to be invited to be one of the 20 artists to take part in this project, alongside some of these fantastic women who are sat in the front here. Um, naturally, I jumped at the opportunity when Helen first invited me, despite having a few reservations about how I could actually respond to the brief, um, which, as Sue mentioned, is loosely based around pro producing an edition which will then be sold to raise money for the library. Um, and as, as an artist, um, this kind of concerned me because I'm sort of a conceptual artist and I don't generally make objects or editions. Um, and I quite like to think of myself as a bit of a moving target, <laughs> especially <laughs> while I'm on my skates. Um, somebody who tries to resist repeating myself or um, commodifying things that I've done in the past. So I was worried that possibly choosing me might not be the best investment the women's <laughs> library could have made but I was hoping that by spending time in here and really thinking hard I'd be able to come up with a solution where I could use the skills that I do have as an artist to benefit the library in other ways um, and create something that would hopefully have lasting impact um, for everybody involved so and maybe even kickstart a new women's movement <laughs> Just setting my slates quite, <laughs> quite low. Um, so, before the start of this year, I'm very embarrassed to admit that I never actually set foot or skate inside the Women's Library. Um, and I'm even more ashamed to admit that my knowledge of women's history was pretty patchy um, and very, very, very limited. Um, I knew about the library, I'd heard about it mentioned ever since I'd moved to Glasgow in 2008. But for some reason, and this is crazy thinking about it, I didn't think it was for me, which is completely bonkers. And that's something, that reaction that I had in the back of my head is something that I've continually been playing with me. But anyway, I realised I had a lot, of t a lot to catch up on and not very much time to do it. So as of, well, for the last six weeks, I decided to come and spend one day a week in the library. Um, and to just to work in here so it would be a change of street scene from my studio but to kind of absorb the atmosphere and witness some of the strange and varied activities that seem to happen in here and then to allow myself to be distracted by some of the materials and it has been a massive eye-opener so spending time in the library I have found myself learning more and more about women's history and this new knowledge that I've acquired um, has been one of the most formative experiences of 2012 for me. Alongside two other things that I've been doing in my spare time, I decided in 2012 that I wanted to have uh, a more social year to get involved, take on some hobbies, you could say, um, <laughs> to get involved in different social scenes in Glasgow. So I wasn't just uh, stuck hanging around with artists the whole time. <laughs> so the first of these was to join, uh, read, I don't like to set myself uh, too easy tasks, but to join a reading group um, to 
to gradually make her way through Karl Marx's capital. Uh, I am actually on chapter 17, so I'm doing quite well with that. That meets every second Wednesday. Um, and then every Tuesday evening, since the beginning of the year, I've begun to train for the very new, very exciting, all-female, full-contact sport that is roller derby. Um, and for that, that, that is this outfit that I'm wearing at the moment, in case you're wondering. This is what I wear every Tuesday evening between 7 and 10.